What's up fam? It's Erica with Not Your Average EDC and today we are going to talk about two majorly glorified EDC items that people are obsessed with when in reality they honestly kind of suck and we need somebody to tell the truth about them. So the first one is going to be mock boots, right? We see these floating around in the EDC community all the time, these mock style boots. Uh, there are some good ones and there are some really not so good ones. The good ones, for the most part that I've seen, are Red Wing mock boots, but they're like $325 for a pair. Ridiculous. I think they're worth it, but no, not a lot of people have that money. So then people started going for these Danner style mock boots. These are trash. As you can see, I have been testing these for fucking months. And here's the issue with them. They have a steel shank inserted in the middle of the sole, but they're a lightweight boot. They're not heavy enough to actually need the steel shank. And what happens is if you're wearing these every single day for like 12 hours a day, uh, if your back is sensitive, it starts really getting irritated by that steel shank. So I have like, a lot of medical issues <laughs> and one of them is my back it's like really really fucked up and because these are such a lightweight boot i blew through into that steel shank area very quickly on these boots and it fucked my back up hard and now i can't even use these and these were like a uh, hundred and seventy five or something when I got them way back like I'm talking like six months ago or maybe even longer um, I got these a long time ago and I tried them once they just didn't work for me they were super uncomfortable so then I revisited them again and for a while they were okay and then something happened and they were fucking killing my feet killing my back so these Danner boots people are obsessed with them because they look cool and I see a lot of people raving about the Danner boots and I don't know if it's just the woman's ones or something but at least for me my experience was like horrific and I feel like at least for me I would need a way sturdier one like that really heavyweight uh heavyweight red wing version because when you take a boot this light and try to put a steel shank into it it just doesn't work so um these are absolutely a no-go I can't wear these anymore unless I'm like mowing the lawn or something or doing doing a task where I'm not on my feet basically for extended periods of time because they fucking hurt so these are a no-go for me unfortunately even though they look super cool and worn in and they look awesome fuck them the second one is this tail of knives sheath now before peanut gallery starts screaming and spitting and their beer bellies are all grumbly it's not the sheath in particular, that's the issue. It's the weight of what you're putting in it and where it's located on your body. So, story time. I've been using this every single day for like, oh geez, over a year. I got it over a year ago and I've been using it every single day. Now for me, I wear, you know, jeans or Carhartts in the winter and cargo shorts in the summer. And this has always been on my belt with this Spirit X from Victorinox, and some type of flashlight that fits into this, right? And it's decently heavy. I'm going to lower the camera real quick and just show you where I locate it on my pants. So this sheath, I'll usually have a belt, and it sits right here, okay? Because if I have it here, it's, um, it, it's kind of in the way of my pockets, which are usually right here, right? And if you have it too far back on your actual back, when you sit down on a tractor or in a truck or something, you're that super uncomfortable and I can't move this around every time I go to sit down on something. So it's literally been like right here, like a sweet spot of right here, okay? And I can't have it up front because that, that just doesn't work. So like right here is where I've had it for a year, okay? I shit you not, this side of my back, from here all the way down into my fucking butt cheek and down into my leg has been killing me for fucking months. 
Like, especially right here. Oh my god, the pain is so brutal. And I was wondering, like, what the f what the fuck is going on with my back? Like, I didn't understand why that particular part of my back was fucking killing me. And then I watched a video from Engineer's Perspective. And he had mentioned that he stopped wearing belts and stopped kind of with, like, heavy stuff on belt sheets and whatever because it was giving him severe back problems. And I was like, oh my god, that makes so much sense. I have, like, a really old... Belt. The belt is from when I was a kid, actually. Let me grab it. This is the one and only belt I owned. It's an old leather belt. It, this was very, very nice when I got it, but I've had it for, I'd, I'd say, 10 or 12 years, and I wear it legitimately every single day. It's, I mean, it. there's no uh, stiffness to it, right? It's just completely old. There's not enough support with this. So what happens is when I wear this every day with that heavy belt sheath on it, this was actually pulling into my hip area right between like my butt cheek and my actual hip. And it was pulling into that like this for a year straight and causing the severe pressure point of, of pressure being put into my back from the weight of this sheath on the other side pulling it. Don't know why my dumbass motherfucking brain didn't get that earlier, but until Justin mentioned it on his channel, I didn't even think of it. And I'm like, wow, I'm just in severe pain all the fucking time. Like, particularly on my left hip. I wonder why. Well, that's why. So I took it off. I have not used this setup for a week now, I think. And the pain is still there, not nearly as bad but it's still there. So something is wrong there. Obviously it's going to take time to heal up, but that just goes to show how if you misuse the position of your sheaths on your, on your belt, you can fuck your back up. Now I'm sure I could get like one of those really stiff belts that they have now. There's like so many like tactical belts that are like you know, you can hold them out straight and they like don't flop. Like they, they have a ton of support. I could, I should probably get one of those. Um, but yeah, that messed up my back really bad. And like I said, it still hurts. It's still like healing. And if I push it, it's still very tender. But a year of this pulling on my hip like that fucked it up. So, you know, I, I'm done with this. The sheath is fantastic, but... And, and the quality is incredible, but at least for me, because my body is so tiny, I only have so much room to put shit on my belt. And unfortunately, I just can't use something like this anymore. I can't really use a belt sheath. Um, so the only thing I could think of was running it in this, which is the sheath that it came with. I've been doing that actually on the front of my belt. So I just put this in here. This is like a pretty crappy sheath, honestly, but it works. And I'll show you where I've been putting it now. Um, multiple really, really old farmers from my work have their shirt tucked in and they were using like an old Leatherman sheath with a Leatherman in it right here. That's literally where they put it. Now I get it, I think. Now I'm understanding why they use this type of sheath and they put it literally right here, but like, many, many of the farmers have it right there. And I was like, dude, that's what I'm going to do. So now I have it right here when I use my belt. Um, not nearly as much pain. I do want to find a different alternative, but that's where I'm putting it right now. Way less painful. And then my flashlight, I've just been throwing in my pocket loosely instead because uh, it doesn't fit in here, obviously. But this is a no-go from now on. But yeah, I'm not kidding. That pain, every time I move, like literally right here, right here, it fucking kills. So as cool as, you know, mock style boots are, as cool as these big, heavy leather sheaths are where you can put an arsenal in them, sometimes, guys, we just have to face the fact that, like, they're not good for our bodies, right? Um, wallets. I've been screaming this forever. Wallets in your back pocket, especially when you're sitting down. Terrible idea. Stop doing it. Put it in your front pocket, put it in a cargo pocket, anywhere, your phone too. Stop putting those heavy, thick things in your back pocket and then sitting on them. I work with one guy 
um, one of the laborers at work, and his wallet, I'm not kidding, is thicker than this sheath. Old, old, folded, like, billfold wallet. It's probably this thick, full of shit. And he fucking puts it in his back pocket, and he's limping around, carrying the buckets of food for the pigs and stuff. Like, literally limping every day. And I'm like, if you stopped sitting on that stupid fucking rock, that brick in your back pocket, I'm sure it would help your back a little bit. Um, you know, and not eating as many cookies, but you know what I'm saying, guys? Like sometimes being tactical and carrying a whole bunch of stuff is just like not good for our bodies. And we're not going to be doing shit for EDC if we're, um, you know, getting back surgery or fucking going to physical therapy because we fucked up our bodies over stupid gear. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't believe how fucking idiotic I am for not realizing that all that weight pulling on my back was like hurting my back so much. But thank you, Engineer's Perspective, for talking about that. So yeah, there's that, guys. Um, I just thought I would, you know, shine light on that real quick because I, it, it's so fun to carry so much gear. Like, and some jobs literally need it. Like my job, I genuinely do need a multi-tool and like many tools. I, I need those things. Um, but we got to figure out how to distribute that weight differently because when you have all of that pulling on a very sensitive area of your back, your lower back, it's just not good for you. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Let me know down in the comments if you have discovered anything that you've changed in terms of how you carry your EDC to make it either more lightweight or like less uh, less of an impact on your back and your hips and stuff like that. Um, also, these are like such a rave right now. So if anyone has like tested thoroughly, I'm talking months and months of everyday use with some type of mock style boot. If anyone has um, a, a well-made one, put it down in the comments because... The Danners are just like a straight no-go for me. Um, like I said, the Red Wing ones seem really nice, and I know a lot of dudes that wear those, and they say that they're the most comfortable thing ever. Um, I think there's another brand, Brunt, Brunt Work or something, that's making a pretty good one, but the women's options are just totally limited. So, um, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Go use your shit. I'll see you on the next video. Love you all.